What's going on guys and welcome back to another Satisfactory video. Where last time we managed to double our steel production building. Then we made these belt lines at the side of our highway so we can move that to our starter base. So we can advance our production and make statters and mortars. But you must be asking what we're going to be doing today. Well, if you remember quite a few episodes ago, we started creating the bus lines. And there is something on here we're not technically utilizing yet, right? So what I want to look at doing is I want to take the quartz onto this second floor and maybe maybe just maybe put it over the status of mortars but then i also want to start a new little project which if you look at our little base it starts to become a little burr yes i know and there is no pillars underneath this and this right bean do you want to help me you and your friends so the first thing I want to do today is a little bit of deconstructing. Yes, not constructing, deconstructing, because this base has a lot of open areas. And the reason for that is because I've wanted to keep it open so you guys can visibly see what I'm doing when I'm doing a build. But now it's time to start doing some decorating. So what I'm going to do is these two strips here, so this one and this one, all the way across there and all the way down to water level is we're going to split the building in half. So we're going to actually remove this whole section, including the belts. And then, once we've done all that, we're going to start looking at putting some uh, windows and the walls in the center of this and connecting the cables through wall attachments as well. And there we go. It is now cut in half. It was a very, very quick job. I was going to do a little bit of time lapse for it, but by the end of the time lapse, it was only about two seconds. So it just didn't make any sense. And now that we've cut it in half, I'm just currently setting up these belts right here, as you can see. With just them two copper lines that were coming out of there and going left before. Um, I've just put a little window uh, here and then sending one across and sending the other one around uh, on these um, conveyor um, wall attachments and just taking it into here and sending it back to where it needs to. And it's the same with the uh, pipes and copper that's been overflowed over there. These are now going back up into the sink. Um, so I do actually just... Well, actually, I did realize that these pipes are not actually being stored anywhere because as we did the um, pipes last episode... We didn't actually send them to a storage. They're actually just being sunk as they're being consumed here for the statters. So I do need to add that into that. But that can come a little bit later. Let's connect that to there. So you're coming through on a wall outlet. Well, a double wall outlet. And then I need you to connect up to this. Which will then power this whole side. Because this is kind of like a main connector, I suppose. So now everything should kind of be up and running, I think think maybe uh well it doesn't look like it so which one is the main actually no what an idiot bits it's because i <laughs> i've not connected this up to the actual power of this building ignore me ignore me i'm a melon now we've got power they're all green for now <laughs> for now now um i need to oh yeah we made this little platform now I need to look at, um, I think, does this hole need to be here? I don't think it was. I think it was just for me to get out, right? So we could actually put that there. And I don't think there's anything else on this floor that needs to come across. So we could technically now just fill this whole section here with walls. So we can just block all this off and say this is a job done on this floor. Now, what I want to look at is... The next floor, right? I think we've done that floor. Uh, actually, I need to do that bit. Down. Bits down, not up. So now let's look at this floor. So I need to bring over... I'm taking a gamble every time I do that. So you need to go across here. So I want to get a wall, a double wall. Put you to there. You're just a one. So I just need to put you to a one. Let me just grab that again. Hold on. Right click place you with the full control oh god damn it i did the wrong one damn it there you go replace that one with that one now i can connect you up to there connect you up to this window and put you there and then you there and then we can just send that straight through and connect these back up and then like before bob's your uncle <laughs> I need to stop saying that. So let's kind of just put this into here. Oh, hello. 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 That into there. Right. We good now? We good? Lift. Thank you. We're good for power here. Sweet. 
And is there anything else? Oh, yeah, there is. This end. So with this end, I actually need to uh, change the angle of this now. So I'm just going to take this all the way back, strip it back. Uh, mark three belt. I'm just going to place you into the middle, take you back by two, and take you all the way down here. And then you're going across there, which I think is being sunk. Or is this the plates? So yeah, it was the plates on this line. Because so, I thought it was uh, they were coming from that way. But we've done this section now, I think. I think we can just remove you now. And then we can even fill this whole place with walls. And then we can start looking at what we want to put in the middle. Actually remove that, because that was my little landing pad. All right, there we go. Walls done. Dusted. Um, oh, I actually need to get to the other side now. How did Bits get to the other side? He jumped. Lol. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so after about 20 minutes or so, I've come up with this kind of idea for the center. You can see that I've used the frame pillars and the beams just to kind of create like some kind of structure around the belts. And I've also done the same with the ones down the bottom. And we've kind of created a bridge to kind of come across. Um, okay, this doesn't seem right. I'm currently underneath the rotors and frames right now. And... I've just noticed we have an empty belt, and this is an input as well. So, what are you meant to be? You're meant to be plates. <gasps> Wait, no! Crap! What were you meant to be? Oh, no! <laughs> that means I've got to re- Oh, you absolute spanner. So, the plates was actually meant to go over to that line, so I need to- Bring this now, um, you into here. So this is meant to be plates, which means that you, are you a, you're a smart splitter, aren't you? Yeah. Left is to go rods. So center now needs to be overflow. You do, you can just be none. And then we need to bring a Mark III um, to basically here. So let's actually grab ourselves a stackable conveyor pole. Put you there, move you over by two. And then let's put you one at the end of here as well. And then connect you up to there. Bring you across, because you're technically in an, an overflow, right? So these rods actually need to do the screws and the actual uh, frames themselves as well. So I've got to basically put this down, and then I've got to remove all the goddamn... Um, lifts so I can actually remove the plates. Are you full of plates? Six and six, six and six. But you're full of plates on there, right? Are you not being sunk down here? Why are you not moving? Wait, why are you not moving? Are we just don't have any power at all down here? Hello? Oh no. What is this? What have I done? What have I done? Wait, that's the storage, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we need to just put power across here. Oh, God, I panicked. I thought I'd just put plates on near enough every single one of my lines. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to get a power node. Like, now, you can come here. Oh, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I thought I did a goofed. I kind of did goof, but I'm kind of fixing it. So I just need to connect that wire there, connect you up, and now we should have power back on that side. Yes, I see movement. Cool, cool, cool. Now, we need to make sure everything's okay. Right, these are coming down here. The rods are finally moving through, which means the sink's now moving through, which then is going to clear up these plates out of here. But hopefully... Oh, there's plates on this line. There's, pl there's plates on this line. I'm going to have to remove them all just to make sure there is nothing on there. And there we go. We now have things back up and moving. Jesus, holy spanners. Um, yeah, that was a little bit of a pain. Uh, but now we're just going to wait for all these to feed back through. And yeah, we should be golden. So, next thing I want to start looking at is start looking at maybe changing the front face of the building and give it some form of entrance and uh, exit. Right? Right? He's just sitting there just chilling with his coffee. <laughs> is, is that good coffee? How about you forget what I'm doing and you focus on your problems? Because you keep seeming to mess up. Your spoon. Wow, so that was rude. Very goddamn rude. 
So, yeah, back to it. Let's start on with the front of the uh, front of the base. Do you know something? I cannot believe myself sometimes. I honestly cannot believe it. So, I started building the front of the base and all this kind of stuff, and I was on the other PC doing the time lapse and recording, and I didn't hit record. <laughs> So anyway, I started work on the front. As you can see, we've kind of added some form of structures. We've added some glass, some pillars, some form of depth to the front of the building as well. Um, and I wanted to kind of show you a cool little trick that I found up from one of our community members called Popcak, who actually figured out how to do some cool stuff with doors. So I'm going to show you. So all you need to do is place this uh, around depend on the size where you want it for example like here and then we can do the same on this side and then grab yourself a good old uh where are they walls automated gates and then place this at the end of here and then at the end of there and then what you're gonna get you get is some form of like pneumatic door it kind of looks cool look at this Right, but then we could take it to another level if we wanted to How trippy and cool is that right and then you can just kind of hide that with beams whatever remove all of this kind of stuff and Yeah, it's cool uh, Excuse me What are you doing bean? You don't realize how terrified I was when I turned around and saw you right there. Holy crap He's already walking across the bridge. He's coming to check the maintenance of the building. Is everything up to par, Bean? Is it? Well, anyway, let's crack on with the front of this building. Okay, so I just want to apologize in advance. This footage you can see right here is actually of the second PC. I don't know what happened to the file. I am so, so sorry, guys. But on the good side and on the flip side, we have a new base. And there we go, guys. It's a thing of beauty. I hope you like that little, little, little montage there. But we are not finished yet by a long shot. We have some quartz to do because I'm nearly running out of the supplies that I brought over from when we had it over there. Uh, so I now need to um, bring it up from around this location. So... Uh, the base is obviously still not finished. I would like to add some lights in here and everything, but we don't know what's still going to happen in these rooms yet. We don't know what's going to happen. So uh, there will be still like works of progress and stuff, but I need to bring these up. And I wanted to bring them up into this layer, right? Uh, and kind of merge it with these. Come here. Um, and let me just put this back as well. Oh, hello. And put you to there and you there. And then I can just grab my lifts. And you guys can be on the ground floor. And let me make sure you're facing the right way. Now I can just bring these along here and get them sent upstairs. Now that I've got these upstairs, let's head up into the area. Because we need to figure out how many machines and whatnot we're going to need. So I need to put down a constructor. Look at the quartz, crystals. And we're doing 37.5. So if we do... Uh, 270 divided by 37.5 is 7.2 constructors. And then if we look at silica, it is 22.5. So 270 divided by 22.5 is 12. So we need a row of um, 7. Well, we'll do 7 and we'll overclock 1 to do an extra 20%. And then the other two will split into two six lines. And the reason being, because if we look at silica, 
So they can actually send out 37.5. And if we do 37.5 times by 6, it's 225. So I could put 7 in a line. And we only have maximum belt size, haven't we, of Mark Three. So I'm going to do two lines of silica with six in each line. Simple setup. And uh, the other one we'll do of 7.2. So seven machines. So let's get the constructors down. And we are going to put them around this location and kind of keep it like lined up with what we have already built. So we'll go from here. And we're going to go with in the middle... Just like that. And then we're just going to go seven along. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then in the end one, I want to make sure this is quartz crystals with one power shard and set that to 120%, which will give us 27 per minute. Um, and then I just want to start putting down logistics, some conveyor holes here and start bringing these into here so we can split them on the conveyor line and then downstairs i'm just going to bring a lift down just so i can kind of get my bearing straight and then i want to get a splitter facing towards me with the input on the opposite side and then to just line that up just there maybe a bit too far so it's in the center i just need to push it to the left a little bit so there and then i can bring this down grab it again and then hook it onto the actual splitter itself and then we need to do that with all of these down here once we've done that just put the lifts down to all of our uh, splitters just to make sure that there is seven yep then we're going to bring our first line in and this one is just going to go straight into here and we're going to connect you up all the way along whilst i'm here we know the machines are there so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put the power cable at the side of all of them machines. Well, it's out of the lift, sorry. So we can kind of do it like this. Because I don't mind the cables coming through this. Uh, obviously, my rule of thumb is if if a item is a moving item, for example, like this, you know, this kind of thing uh, is not ideal, right? That's not... that. That's a no-no for me. But anything like anything station we can go through, that's, that's kind of cool for me. Um, right, so now we've done that, I just need to connect these up. Um, and then connect this up to the power grid and we can start on the quartz crystal. Oh yeah, don't forget to put the uh, the recipe in them all as well, <laughs> which I just nearly forgot. And then on the output side, simple as always, just grab ourselves some merges, get it facing down to where we need to head to, just like this. Connect up these output belts. And then just put it straight into a storage. Stop snapping. Stop. There we go. And that is the quartz crystals done and dusted. Now we just need to do it with the silica. And we just need to do exactly the same. But we just need to do six constructors. Six constructors. And then just get the um, line of quartz. Put a splitter down and split it between both lines. And then that is it. And there we go. Silica is now made. I wasn't going to go through the whole tedious process of just quickly doing that setup again. Just because only thing we needed to do different was add a splitter here. That's literally it. So this splitter is bringing 270 down. And then 135 is going that way. 135 is going that way into the six constructors. And that is it. Like, that's all we needed to do with that. Simple, simple setup. And then I've got a storage here for the silica. Storage there for the silica. And quartz right here. And then we've also got the mortars and statters over here, which you can find out here in the last episode. Because unfortunately, that is going to be it. And if you want to check out the playlist, check the playlist out up here for the full series. And as always, keep smiling.